Well, you know, guess what, folks? Um, if you're planning to use this for popcorn, don't ask for butter, cause. Well, I usually wash my buckets when I get home, but last night I was tired, so I just passed out. So pretty much this has been sitting since last night, and now it's like the evening. I did not know that this entire time that the butter has been going through the bucket. Like, I picked it up to finally go clean it up because I thought of an idea of how to use this. But when I picked it up, there was, just like my venom bucket, a massive butter mess. Massive. So when I went to, when I put this in a different spot to clean up the butter mess, another one just suddenly came out of nowhere. So if you're planning to use this for popcorn, don't have butter. That's all I can say. Because it seems, I don't know why they would do it. But I guess they're just doing it in the same way they did with the venom, which is pretty much like, you know, how like a puzzle piece has two pieces and then you put them together. That's pretty much how this is. That's this. And it was even, it was getting worse as I was watching it. It was already starting to try to come apart. So yeah. If you do not want to deal with a butter situation, don't use it for pop, don't use it for buttered popcorn, which that's, that sucks because I love butter popcorn. <laughs> the popcorn without butter just tastes awful. So, like, it already feels loose because there's, like, still water stuck in places that I cannot reach now. And if you don't even want to be caught in this situation where you have to wash it, and be worried about the batteries, which luckily it still works. The butter did not damage the batteries at all, it didn't damage the light. It did not damage it, not one bit. It's still functional. But if you do not want to go through any of that, no butter situations, no trying to clean it up without, um, like, without risking this part you know like breaking which will obviously probably risk the entire thing coming apart because that's pretty much what happened to my venom bucket it like slowly decided to disconnect in other words it was slowly breaking in half and that's how the butter was starting to leak out so yeah I'm, I'm guessing this is just better to be used as a collector's item. I already have like so many ideas of how to use it. Like, I don't know, like my bouncy balls, my fortune cookie, my fortune cookies, fortunes. Um, that's just two ideas so far. I'm not including my venom ones because my alien bucket from alien... When Mollus, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that one has the um, all the bouncy balls and rubber ducks I got from Venom has that covered. I even put the movie tickets in it too, so I really don't want to be stuck at number six though. I'm really hoping to at least do number seven just to get out of the number six. Maybe and I hope. And I really don't want, if I do number seven, I want to at least use the bucket, but try to use it in a different way. Maybe I can like buy a bunch of nachos and like fill it halfway. See how that works. And like put cheese in there because obviously cheese is not butter, so it's not going to be able to go through the bucket. So who knows? That might work better. So, my suggestion for you guys for this, 
collector's item because you can see but this is the second round of the paper towels that it sat on the first one the first time it first round of paper towels that i had it sit on it soaked like crazy it just soaked so my suggestion you if you get this don't use butter if you don't want to deal with a butter leak and if you don't want to deal with the washing you know don't want to deal with the risk of it just you know this part coming you know just coming apart then use it as a collector's item and have some kind of creative idea to do with it which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find some <laughs> random creative idea to use it for. I just haven't figured it out yet because my only bouncy balls are from when I watched Venom. I don't know about my other four ones. I don't remember those. But yeah. Maybe I can use it for all the fortunes from the fortune cookies I got from the Chinese place. Throughout the couple past past couple past years, I don't know how much it would fill this though. Who knows? I don't know. This this many things that this can be filled up with. Who knows? Maybe for fortunes because I can really just stick my hand, grab one, and read it. Look and read it if I want. But yeah, no, just. Dealing with the um, fact that there's kind of, even though I washed it, there's still kind of like a little butter looking, st there's like stains, butter looking stains. But it does work. It, as you can see, it still works. So, but that's up to you. My suggestion <clears throat> if you want to use it for the movie, just use it once even though for me i love using my buckets every time i go see the movie whether if i get charged or not it's kind of like an agreement we have i have with regal um last night they let it slide they let it slide because in full honesty, I literally told them I literally only had enough money for a hot dog, which was my dinner. And, well, luckily, there was a dollar for the rubber duck crane. So, that was, that was double luck there. So, was it? Yeah, last night. Yeah, it was last night. So, last night, it was a slide. They wanted to charge me for the popcorn and the IC. They wanted to charge me, but it was a slide this time. Next time, I'm pretty sure they will charge me, but the fact that this happened, I'm not going to use this. This is now, to me, a collectibles, a collector's item, which um, I'm going to put somewhere in my room. I don't know where. Same thing with my cup. I only wanted to use the cup for the movie. And, of course, I used it during Venom when I bought it. But it was meant only to use for the movie. So, the cup is obviously going to be put somewhere nice as a collector's item. But, yeah. This is pretty much just giving you guys a note from my perspective that <laughs> this cannot handle holding butter in butter i'm pretty sure it did on the when during the movie because i did not see any popcorn i did not see any butter on the floor when i picked it up i didn't see any butter on myself but i guess it decided to leak out overnight so it was definitely a lot that's for sure but huh yeah definitely don't use it for butter popcorn unless you want to deal with um the mess that may happen 
that may happen. Which, obviously, it's going to happen because I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't going to happen. But it's still worth it. it. I still think it's worth it because it makes the movie more enjoyable as the for, for the first time. Even though it was technically just two people and me, so I can't say about that. The crowd part of the enjoyment, but the movie, I loved it. The ending nearly made me, like, break into tears. Oh my god, such a, such a, such a way to end a movie. Oh my god, it was, the ending was amazing. Like, I don't know when I want to see that movie again. Like, I'm thinking about seeing that movie again. I'm just not sure yet. Because of Wicked, well, two of my sisters want to see Wicked, and I'm super hyped for Moana, just still waiting for my costume to come into the mail. Oh boy, that's giving me so much anxiety right now that it hasn't even arrived yet. Like, I have a feeling that I will have to fix it, that I will have to make some, um, like... I don't know, adjustments to it when it gets here. Uh, I just hope I pick the right size. Like, I just hope so because, man, me and me costumes with like sleeves and just costumes that are dresses in general. Oh boy, that's a nightmare. So we all need to cross our fingers that it gets here. Like, at least on the 24th or the 25th, before Moana 2. That way I can have time to, like, fix it, if there's any fixes. And I really need to get a hold of him, him the chicken. I have to get a hold of him. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Anyway, that's what I have to say about this bucket. Uh, the, the little butter issue that it has. Other than that, it works so. Okay, have a, have a nice day and night. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.